Hey guys, welcome to the Stone Cottage. Okay, are you guys ready to finally see how amazing this house looks? I mean, it's completely transformed. And I wanna say a huge thank you to Article for sponsoring today's video. You guys are gonna see so many amazing pieces of furniture that I have absolutely fallen in love with that I will point out along the way. And I have so many amazing antique finds, you guys. This place is like heaven. This is my heaven that I've been working on for a year and a half. Are you ready to see it? <laughs> okay, come on in, let's go. Welcome to the entryway. It's a small little cottagey entryway right when you walk in. The floors, just so you know, they're original. We discovered them when we lifted some stuff that was on top of them, which was not so cute linoleum. And we discovered this really cool, very 50s geometric tile print that I loved, so we kept it. Okay, so here is the living room at the Stone Cottage, you guys. How beautiful did this space turn out? So as you guys can tell, I always talk about how to set up the right conversation area. This living room did pose a few problems, only that it's long. We have an entrance from the door. I feel like a flight attendant right now, a stewardess. We have an entrance over here to the dining room. We have a walkway this way to the patio, and we have a walkway down the hall. So this small little living room is like being attacked by all the hallways around it. So what does that mean? That means I had to pick furniture that was low to the ground, didn't have a lot of arms. The, my only piece that I could fit that was like a long, yummy sofa was gonna be up against this wall. And like most of you run into this problem, my window is not symmetrical to the room. Don't you love that? But that's okay, because I think we were able to balance out this space, uh, even though we didn't have a symmetrical window, with this amazing fireplace. You guys, do you see the gorgeous stone? I love this lime washed look. Um, we actually didn't even have to lime wash it. We found it as is. I will try to look up what it's called and I'll put it in the description because I don't recall the name of the stone right now. We have our really beautiful mantle that pulls that dark wood color back into the space. And then let's just give a moment for the most beautiful art piece that I found at a garage sale down the street. It was almost as if it was made for this space, was it not? This space is so special to me because this isn't a client's home. This isn't my home. This is essentially your home. I have designed this stone cottage Airbnb for you guys and other people in the Tulsa area that wanna come stay here and experience beautiful design and a really cozy cottage atmosphere. So this space, I didn't wanna do a TV. I wanted it to be a place where you play games, you read books, you talk with each other and you hang out. And there is another room that you can watch TV and movies and all that fun stuff, don't you worry. I do want to point out this beautiful sofa. This is a leather sofa. This is from Article. This coffee table is from Article. Can you even believe it? This coffee table is so cool. It's indoor and outdoor, so you could put this in an outdoor space. I love the legs. The legs are like half moon, like a half circle, super chunky. I just think it's such a fun, kind of retro, very modern, um, spunky design. We have our balanced symmetry with our lamps on either side and a beautiful light fixture up top. I have some nice U-shaped seating, which obviously is gonna offer tons and tons of conversation because people can hang. And let's do a little detour, speaking of having community and having a wonderful place to sit and hang with your friends. Let me just show you really quickly this nice little porch right off of the living room. Come on. Look how adorable, you guys. Oh, little rocking chairs. We have a side table. Both of these are from Article. They're very cottagey, very comfortable, nice firm back. It's so perfect. Have a drink, read a book, hang out. I love it. Okay, let me show you the rest of the house. 
And do you guys notice something that y'all might remember? It's the clock. The clock that I've had for nine years or so here on YouTube that everyone has loved and wanted. I have retired it. Um, it is now gonna live out its retirement in this house, I think, which I think is very special. I have to show this to you because this is my favorite part of the house. This bookshelf. Now, this is a beautiful glass door cabinet from Article. If y'all wanna see how I accessorized it and all the details about this particular room, I have broken down this house not only by this lovely walkthrough that we're doing now, but you can watch each individual room and learn all the details, the design details about this specific space. Um, but there is something very detailed that I'd like to show you right now. I found this at an antique store. How perfect is this thing? And it's playing, well, that'll be the question of the video. What song is this? Do you know? If you know it, leave your comment below. Let me take you guys over here into the dining room. It has come a long way. I transformed this dining room with this really beautiful wallpaper. It has herbs and garlic and lavender and rosemary and all the delicious things that you love to cook with. Great communal moments are gonna happen at this table. This table itself I thrifted, which I'm very proud of. And I actually didn't even change the stain color. I loved the color that it was already stained as, so we left it. A lot of the art in this space that you guys will see, it's thrifted, it's found at garage sales and estate sales and all kinds of random places, which I think makes this place feel so fun. As you know, the style of this home is a cottage core vibe, kind of English cottage vibe with a touch of biblical chic. Now you might see the kitchen behind me, and let me tell you, there used to be a wall. If you guys have seen all the vlogs, I did all kinds of vlogs on this house as I was renovating it, and there used to be a nice wall that came all the way to like here. And this kitchen looked completely different. So we opened up this space, obviously, to make it conversational, to make it brighter, to make it happier. But we also did that so we can have this beautiful peninsula and I could add three more places for people to sit and eat. Because below here we have some awesome bar stools so you can have additional seating if you guys have a big group that comes and stays here. You guys might remember when we originally bought this house, there was a long skinny window. It was like this. This long window we took out and we replaced it with this beautiful large uh, window here right at the sink. You can look out to the beautiful tree, you can see the lovely yard, and you can do your, the dishes. What a, who doesn't want to do the dishes with the beautiful view? Over here, I set up a beautiful coffee corner. So. Not only do we have our coffee maker and our coffee cups, but we have all the dishes that you're gonna need. There are extra dishes below, wine glasses, extra cups, things like that. We wanted to add some texture to this back wall, so I did a nice, simple, vertical chip lap to make it feel less farmhouse and more modern. If you want more modern, do vertical. If you want more farmhouse, do horizontal. As you guys know, we added all new appliances and new flooring, and the flooring looks very aged, and that was the point. I wanted it to feel very cottagey in here. And then I have this really beautiful pantry, so if you need storage for your food, not to worry. I built you a very large pantry. And then this is like the most adorable, if you guys remember when I went thrifting and I found all that art, that crochet thing that said home sweet home. <gasps> I put it right here, it's so cute. Okay, now let me show you the bedrooms. Welcome to the Rosemary Room. The reason we're calling it the Rosemary Room is because it has a similar wallpaper, not similar, it's actually the exact same as the dining room. I had some left over and this room was sad that it didn't get a wallpaper treatment. So I went ahead and put it up here on behind the bed and I think it looks so beautiful. It actually goes really well with the curtains. I already had these gray curtains in here and I think it looks great with the headboard and the window treatments and all the things. We have some beautiful thrifted art. It is from Target, but I found it at a thrift store, which is a win-win, don't you think? And a beautiful king-size bed. It's cozy, it's fresh. All the details about this particular room are gonna be in the bedroom, all about the Rosemary Room. So keep an eye out for that. Okay, let me take you to the bathroom so you can kind of see, in case you have to go potty, we can make a potty break, and then we'll go see the other bedrooms. 
Okay, welcome to the brightest bathroom in Tulsa. Do you see all this lighting? I fought hard for all this lighting because there's nothing worse than wanting to get ready in a room, in a bathroom, with dim, dull vanity lights. This bathroom was a complete redo. The only thing I kept were the floors and the porcelain tub that we had refinished. Everything else was pretty much gutted and redone. I just think it turned out beautifully. I love the vanity, it's very simple. And I love the fact that we have some great storage for towels and any other vanity belongings that you may have that you wanna put your stuff up. We have a spot for you. Okay, let's go check out the next bedroom. And before we go into this bedroom, I do wanna point out, this is a perfect example that if you're renting and you'd love to have a sconce on a wall, you can without having to disrupt anybody or anyone know it and no electrician needs to come by to help you. Do you wanna know why? Because this bulb is a battery. Ha! Okay, welcome to the garden room. Now this room is one of my favorite bedrooms downstairs because it is beautiful, it is bold, it is full of color, and it's just pretty in here. And I love this wallpaper. It is so beautiful and fun. I love the green and the yellow. There's butterflies and bees and all kinds of pretty little animals. I don't wanna say insects, because that just sounds gross. But it's a beautiful garden scene. Now, can we just talk about this bed, you guys? So Article has some amazing beds. You guys, and I've worked with Article for five or six years now. I have really tried to utilize different pieces and try different pieces of their catalog, mostly to diversify the stuff I put in some of these projects, but also because some of you guys ask me questions like, do you like the, the leather sofas? Do you like the fabric sofas? Like, what about the quality? I can tell you their furniture is so well made, okay? It is like top of the line quality. I love the side tables. They have this beautiful caning detail on the bottom. It's a great little side table. It's perfect size for this bed. And look at this beautiful cloth green bed. I have never ordered a green bed before, but I'm so glad that I did because it's such a fresh, like just happy bed. You wake up and you're happy in here. And then also it matches really well with this very simple, tan and white striped rug, which is kind of a nice little neutral base for this room since we do have a lot of color going on in the rest of the details here. We can't move on without talking about these beautiful sconces. Look at this little daisy scalloped detail of the shade. Like, is that not the most adorable sconce you have ever seen in your whole life? I think so. You will find in this house a lot of the pieces that you sit on are gonna be from a really reputable brand like Article. And I always invest and encourage you guys to invest in the pieces that you lay on, like your bed, or you sit on, like chairs and sofas. Those are things that you really try to find really good quality pieces, because you're gonna have them forever. Things like a desk like this, that's really fun to find thrifted somewhere, or even a light fixture or an accessory item. One thing I do wanna point out with Article, um, I've talked about this at length, their delivery options, so if you're order is under $9.99, $909. They offer a flat rate shipping for $49, which is great. If it's over $9.99, it is free regular ground shipping, but they do have other upgrade packages. Like you can have them deliver it, you know, up into any room that you want it delivered into. They'll just leave it in the boxes in the room and at least they got it into that room for you. You can also pay an additional fee to have them not only move it into the room, but unbox it and build it for you, which is my favorite package because then they take away all the trash. I just can't say enough good things about Article. One of my main jobs here is finding really great deals and really beautiful items that you guys can put into your homes. And so when I align my name with a brand, like that's a really big deal because you guys buy it and then you have it in your home. So I just want to really say thank you to Article because they just have such beautiful craftsmanship and a really great company. And I have loved working with them and I just really stand by their furniture. So let's move on to the next room. This is my favorite bedroom downstairs. I'm gonna show you the favorite bedroom that I have upstairs. And then you guys can all vote and tell me which one's yours. That's a good question of the video right there. Okay, let's go upstairs and take a look. Welcome to the upstairs. Let me take you into the Mustang room. Is this not the sweetest bedroom you've ever seen? I designed it with children in mind because you know, if you come here with a family, you have kids, you have twin beds, obviously adults can stay in here too. The biggest impact obviously 
is the wallpaper, right? This wallpaper is some of the most beautiful wallpaper. I think it's such a fun, it's very playful because it's not a exact straight line plaid. It's kind of got a wiggly, like, ooh, I'm fun. That's what it's saying, you know? It's like a very fun plaid. I love that it's a great backdrop. If you guys watch the video on this specific room, I'll go more in detail. But this was a tricky space because the roof line, as you may notice, is all over the place in here. The ceiling goes up and down, it slants, it goes short, it goes tall, it goes to a point. It has like a wave and a curve and they're also lower ceilings. So I'm gonna give you all a heads up. If you are above 6'4", you're gonna need to duck. My husband is 6'4", and he clears this fan. But if you're over 6'4", you just gotta be careful, okay? It's a funky room and I'll go into all the details of all the things that I did to make it not so funky and to really lean into its weaknesses in this space and make them strengths. So this little bathroom turned out so stinking cute. As you guys remember, it was a lot smaller. Literally the shower was this big before and it went back about half of the depth. It was like a phone booth. You could stand there like this, or maybe like this, but that was it. There was no this. We pretty much gutted the whole thing. Again, I walked through all the details in our upcoming bathrooms video, where I'm gonna try to give you guys some really great tangible tips, not only on small space bathroom re renovations, but also ways that you can save money and just kind of make the most out of the space that you have. Look, a beautiful tree and another shade for privacy. Welcome to the folklore room. I named it the folklore room because I picked this really beautiful wallpaper. It has like dandelions and flowers and blooming petals and it's very monochromatic, but I just thought it reminded me of the folklore art from Taylor Swift's folklore album. And so I went ahead and just ran with it. And I added a couple of her album art pieces into this little gallery wall. But what I love about this room mostly is this bed. Remember downstairs in the garden room, the side tables had caning? Well, they go with this bed. And when the guys came to deliver the article furniture, they brought those up here with this bed. And I said, guys, no, no, no. We don't do sets. We don't do sets of furniture together. We split it up to make it feel more custom and fun and funky. The side tables that go with this bed are beautiful, but I kind of like to split up and not buy the exact same side table with the bed and to find something that looks just as good. Like this is the white oak on their website. This is also white oak on their website, but the bottom of this particular nightstand is leather instead of it being caning, which I think is kind of fun. You mix up some of those textures and some of those materials, and you're not just doing all caning everywhere. You're kind of like trying to split it up a little bit, if that makes sense. And I love adding, again, I did not, there's no electrical box here. These are plug-in sconces that I will link for you guys that you can turn on and turn off from the comfort of your bed and it just hangs right there and you just screw them into the wall like you normally would a sconce, but it does not have to be hardwired. I love that we have two little chairs here. You can come up here, drink your coffee. If you have a Zoom call, go ahead and scoot this to the little table, which I love this little, it looks like a little mushroom, doesn't it? Anyway, this is the folklore room. Where should we go next? Oh, we still have the den and the outside and the laundry room and the back entry. We have so much to see, let's go. Let me show you downstairs into the laundry room and the second entryway. We have another entryway. We haven't even seen it yet. Let's go take a look. So the garage is right here. This door right here is the garage. The driveway is also right here. So when you come to stay, You'll park in that area and you'll probably walk through this door where we have a little pin pad, keypad so you can enter or you could even enter through the garage right here. Now I love this little entryway. I found this thrifted mirror which is so fun. It's like a little window pane mirror. I have a, another cute little sconce right above it and I found this table at 
Facebook Marketplace. I thrifted it and I think it's such a beautiful little antique vibe. You can put your keys right here so you don't lose them. It's very handy and very cute. And then behind you, we are gonna walk through the hallway, the breezeway to the laundry room. So this used to just be a hallway, it used to be nothing. The people that owned it before us, at some point somebody added this on. This used to be like a breezeway that was all open and they added this whole thing on here. So we brought some plumbing this way so that way we could set up a nice little laundry room for you guys. Feel free to do your laundry or don't do laundry. Maybe you're trying to get away from laundry but if you need to do it, it's gonna be here which is great. I'm gonna give you guys an update in a couple of weeks because I have a beautiful moment happening right here. There's a really cool bookcase that's coming in from Article. I can't wait for you guys to see it, but it won't be until next week. So we'll have to show you another time, but just stay tuned. It's pretty awesome. Now this is where you watch your movies. Oh my gosh, you guys. I die, I'm dead, I'm gone. It's so good, it's so buttery, it's so soft, it smells so good. Everything about this sofa is like the sofa of your cozy dreams, okay? It's modular. Do you know why modular is so cool? Because you can essentially customize it to whatever space you need. If you have a really long room or a really deep room, you buy each of these little pieces individually. So if you wanna make a big U shape, you can. If you wanna put a chaise lounge on the end or just an ottoman for your legs, you can. Whatever you need, you can customize it to your needs, which I love. Right here, we have such a beautiful symmetrical moment. You guys know I'm all about symmetry here. These two bookcases are from Article. They are such good quality, okay? They are beautiful, they are tall. It's really hard to find ones that are as tall as this, a lot of the time you'll they end here and I feel like you need that last shelf because you can add that extra height. And I love the beautiful warm walnut color. But we've accessorized obviously with some beautiful details, some faux greenery, but also some great storage. So if you do come and stay here, make sure you check all the storage places because I have some great games. We have Clue, we have Scategories, we have Scrabble. Those are not books, those are games. So over on this side, you guys know I'm a huge fan of the Frame TV. This is the Frame. It looks like art, but it's actually a television. And if you're looking for the remote, so am I. <laughs> My lovely videographer hit it so that way it wouldn't be in the way. I've been keeping it here, but I'll probably put it right there on the, in the middle so you guys can find it very easily. I love this space. It's casual, it's really comfortable, and you guys can just hang, watch TV, do what you want in here. And these close, so if you need darker room darkening, if it's daytime, feel free to do that. And then we get to go outside. Yes, we have the outdoor extravaganza. Follow me. So welcome to our outdoor sitting area here at the Stone Cottage. Don't you just love it? So all of this outdoor furniture is from Article. I absolutely love their exterior umbrellas, outdoor umbrellas. I think they offer obviously a ton of shade. They're just very sturdy, very well made. And I love, love, love this little sectional patio furniture. We went with black because we painted the outside of the house black and I think it looks really good with the stone. Quite frankly, what led me to the black was actually the dining table that is over there. So let's go take a peek but we have a nice little coffee table. This will be a real tree at some point, but I didn't have one, so I went with my fake tree. <laughs> and right here is the most beautiful dining table, exterior dining table that you've ever seen. You guys, is this not just so beautiful? I am so, 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 so obsessed. Just, you have to see the base of this table. It seats four right now, but you could add a couple extra seats if you needed to. You can just grab some chairs from inside if you want to. I think it could seat maybe up to six. You can even roll the umbrella over here if you needed to, to provide some shade. And yeah, have your little outdoor moment. Enjoy yourself and then go back inside because it is very hot today. So let's go. 
Okay guys, that is all I have to show you for the stone cottage. I am so, so, so happy that I can finally share this video. This project has been a long time coming and I am just so excited to now get to have you guys in this home, to maybe meet some of you and just to have you guys come visit Tulsa. Cause you guys know we moved here three years ago and we absolutely love it. I'm gonna link this Airbnb link so you guys can come and visit and book this space. I'm gonna put it in the description box. I really hope that you come and see it in real life and see it in person. If you guys would like to see any details about each of these individual rooms as far as links, where I got things, any of those potential details are gonna be in the individual videos that I'll be rolling out about each space. So please continue to watch those videos, give them a thumbs up and engage with them because that always helps along the way. Huge thank you to Article for sponsoring today's video. If you guys haven't thumbs up this video, what are you doing? Thumbs it up, hit subscribe, leave your comment. What was your favorite bedroom and or what was the other question? And then remind me of what the first question was. It was a long time ago that I told you what to say or the question of the video. What was it? Remind me, tell me down below. What did I ask you at first? I know I asked you to tell me your favorite bedroom, but there was something else. I don't remember. Anyway, I love y'all, I mean it, but let me walk you out, okay? Right on this way. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Do I have lip sweat? Hold on. La-di-da, la-di-da. Welcome to the folklore room. <laughs> was that not as cool as I thought it would be in my head?